Hey guys, one of the most important concepts you're going to learn in mathematics is to simplify fractions. Fractions can be added, they can be multiplied, they can be subtracted, and they can be divided. It's very important though to understand that when you're working with fractions, you always have to ask yourself this question, can I simplify this fraction or not? Simplifying fractions is critical. Every answer you need to have when you're working with fractions, you need to ask yourself, can I simplify my answer any further? If you can, you must simplify it and write it in simplest form. So here, I'm going to show you how easy it is to simplify, but it's always important to ask yourself, can I simplify? You're going to notice the process is easy, but I've noticed a lot of kids, they forget to simplify. Why? Because they just basically forget. They don't pay attention to that. So it's always important, you need to pay attention and make sure you simplify the fractions all the way to the end. So how do we simplify? Well, let's look at the theory. The theory says that we always divide the numerator and the denominator by the HCF. Well, what's a numerator and denominator? Well, the numerator is the number that's on top of the fraction bar, and the denominator is the one down the bottom. I like to remember it, denominator, D for down, and the numerator is right on top of that. So, the theory says we have to, the rule is, we have to divide both the numerator and the denominator by the HCF. We have to divide that and that by the HCF, that and that by the HCF, and that and that by the HCF. All fractions. To simplify, you must divide the numerator and the denominator by the HCF. Now remember, the HCF stands for the highest common factor highest common factor, meaning the highest factor that is in the numerator and in the denominator. The highest factor that is found in 12 and in 20, in 6 and in 12, in 2 and in 4, etc. Let's get started and see how easy it is. So we're asked to simplify 2 over 4. We look at both the numerator and denominator and we see that yes, we can simplify it further. How do we know? because we have to divide by the highest common factor. The highest common factor meaning the number that goes into both. The highest number that goes into both. Well, the highest is going to be, in this case here, the HCF is 2. 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 4 twice. So, 2 over 4 simplified to the full, it's 1 half. 1 half is the simplest form for 2 over 4. We always divide the numerator and denominator by the HCF, the highest common factor. In this case here, it is 2. Now, 6 over 12, we need to simplify that too. Well, what is the highest common factor? We can see that 2 goes in there, and so does 3. So 2 is a factor of 6 and 12. 3 is a factor of 6 and 12, however we look for the highest common factor and that is going to be 6. Six divided by 6, 1, put our fraction bar, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 6 over 12 is the same as 1 over 2. Now very important, you may think how do we know our factors very quickly? You need to know your times tables. Very important for you to realize, I need to make sure I show my times tables and my times tables are very good and always when I show my working out, I always make things clear. That way when I get marked, I get marked for my working out as well. 5 over 20, we want to simplify that. Well, 5 over 20, what are the highest common factor here? The highest common factor is going to be 5. 5 is the HCF and the HCF here as well. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is a quarter. So 5 over 20 simplified all the way becomes 1 quarter. High HCF is the 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 20 divided by 5 is 4. See if you can do this one. 12 over 20 Again, what is the highest common factor? If we look at it, we can tell that 2 is a factor and 4 is also a factor. 
what is the highest common factor? It is 4. 4 goes to 12, and 4 also is the highest common factor. 4, 20 as well. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 20 divided by 4 is 5. It's critical to make sure that we are looking for the highest common factor or else we're not going, it's not going to work. We're not going to get the right answer. So our answer here, 3 over 5 is the simplest form for 12 over 20. This example, we have 16 over 30. See if you can find the HCF. 16 over 30. What's the highest common factor? Well, it's basically 2. So we have to divide by the HCF. In this case, it's 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. And 30 divided by 2 is 15. 8 over 15 is simplest form. We've simplified 16 over 30, and we got 8 over 15. Last one, 50 over 90. We need to simplify that. 50 over 90. What is the highest common factor between 50 and 90? The HCF is going to be 10. So 50 divided by 10 is 5, and 90 divided by 10 is 9. So 50 over 90 simplified 5 over 9. Always, always look for the HCF. Make sure you know your HCF, and that way you can actually work out and simplify all fractions. I'll remind you again, very important, every single fraction at the end, when you are working it out, you need to ask yourself, can I simplify? You must ask yourself that question. You will lose marks if you have your answer and it's not simplified. So if you got an answer and it was 5 over 20 and you didn't simplify it to 1 quarter, you are going to lose marks. So it's very important that you always simplify every single question that you do when it's coming and to regard to fractions.